Namaste, and welcome to 10 Minutes with Dr. Mark Halpern. I'm Dr. Mark Halpern, and I'm honored to share this sacred time with you. Today, I'm going to share with you the four keys to building your immune system. Let's begin. The first key that I want to talk about is the role of diet. In Ayurveda, we understand that your immune system is tied to something called ojas. Ojas is the energy behind your immune system. There are certain foods in Ayurveda that have a very high ojas building potential, not the foods you may be thinking about. It's not salads. It's not even fruits. The foods that have the highest immune building potential or ojas building potential are heavier foods. These include your grains, your oils, and your nuts. Things like almonds, cashews, sesame oil, ghee, whole grains like wheat, rye, oats. These are the foods that have the highest ojas building potential. Oh, the fruits and the vegetables are very important for other purposes, but they're not strong enough to be able to sustain your immune system or build your ojas. So the first tip for you in terms of building your immune system is to make sure that you're taking enough of these deeply nourishing foods. Now the second tip for building your immune system. You may know that those same foods are hard to digest. Wheat, for instance, is very difficult for a lot of people. Oils can feel very heavy. I didn't mention dairy, but dairy also has high ojas building potential. So many people have a hard time digesting dairy. The second tip for building your immune system is to optimize your digestion. Because if you want your immune system to be healthy, you have to be able to digest the foods with the highest ojas building potential. In Ayurveda, we call that Agni. Agni is that which digests the food. It's the digestive fire. We need to care for the power of digestion. When we do that, we can digest the foods that release ojas into our body. And then our immune system has what it needs in order to be strong and to overcome any threats to our body. The third tip for building your immune system is to follow an appropriate lifestyle. An inappropriate lifestyle will burn up or dry out your ojas. It'll weaken your immune system. If you stay out late and party, there is no way that your immune system can stay healthy, at least not for very long. You may be blessed with a large amount of ojas, but eventually it catches up with you. It's important to get a good night's sleep. This is essential to rejuvenating your body. A healthy lifestyle also includes regular routines and regular routines include sitting down for your meals, which also allows you to optimally digest your food. Healthy routines are essential. When routines are irregular, it'll disturb the agni that is responsible for your digestion. Your power of digestion and your routines are tied together. Regular healthy routines, healthy digestion. Irregular or unhealthy routines leads to unhealthy digestion. That's why Ayurveda really prescribes a code of living from the moment you wake up until the moment you go to sleep. Healthy, regular routines are essential to the health of your immune system. And the fourth tip that I'd like to give you is perhaps the most important of all. The Ayurvedic texts are very clear about this. They say that the most important thing you can do to protect your ojas and even build your ojas is the practice of ahimsa. Ahimsa means to not cause harm. It means to live in a way that is respectable to everyone around you and everything around you. Imagine living your life in a manner that is harmonious, that is peaceful, that is living in 
harmony with nature and all of the planet's inhabitants. Ayurveda says that this is the most important thing that you can do. Really, ahimsa is love. And ojas is love. When we love ourselves and we love everyone else in the world, when we love ourselves and we love all creatures in the world, when we love ourselves and we love all of nature, we act in a way that is respectful to other people, to our planet, to nature. This behavior, this lifestyle, if you will, will keep our OJA strong and keep our immune system strong. The absence of love is actually the cause of disease and the cause of suffering. Love fortifies every cell in our body. But we struggle to love. Each of us do. It's part of the human condition. We struggle to love others and we struggle to love ourselves. And it's that inner struggle that weakens our immune system, that lowers our ojas. That inner struggle takes the form of anger. That inner struggle takes the form of fear. That inner struggle drives us to act in ways that we tend to regret later. In the moment, sometimes it even feels good. But later, we feel worn out, tired, dried out. It's disharmonious. Over many years, it takes its toll. We seek love. We know that love is the answer. We just don't know quite how to get there. Beginning with the idea of, I don't want to hurt anyone else is a great place to begin. I don't want to hurt anything else is a great place to begin. How can I go through my day today and not hurt anyone or anything? Wow, with that kind of mindfulness, with that kind of awareness, think of how your day will change. Think about how your relationships will change. And as your awareness changes and your relationships change, your feelings change, your immune system changes. The immune system now is prepared to fully protect you. In Ayurveda and yoga, we understand that our experience in life is a reflection of what's going on inside of us. So the health that we experience on the outside is a reflection of the story that's going on on the inside. The story of love is the story that heals. The absence of love is what brings about disease. Whether we're suffering from cancer, heart disease, we're trying to fight pandemic infections. If we love ourselves and we can love everyone around us, our immune system will be so much stronger that no matter what happens to us, we will be able to manage it. We will be able to fight off the pathogens, the viruses, the bacterias. Our immune system does it naturally. Health is our natural state. It is our natural state when our immune system is healthy. We don't have to do anything as much as we have to not do the things that destroy our immune system. We destroy our immune system when we eat low quality food, when we can't digest our foods, when we live a lifestyle that includes irregular routines, staying up late and taking into our body substances that are toxic and when we get attached to and engage in the harmful dramas of life. Those are the things that destroy our immune system. It's not so much about what we do. It's about what we don't do. And remembering that health, optimum health, peace of mind, a healthy immune system, and love, this is our true nature. This is who we are. This is the way we are when nothing is in the way. 
So as you go forward on your healing journey, remove the obstacles one at a time. It's going to take patience, but even one obstacle that is removed will allow the power of love to flow a little stronger. Even one obstacle that is removed is going to build the health of your immune system. Many blessings to you on your healing journey. Namaste.